Hello, my name is Zach Inman, and the movie I decided to watch and do my video on is The Big Short. Uh, the movie is based on a novel written by Michael Lewis. Um, it's about the housing and credit, credit bubble that led to the 2008 financial crisis uh, that really only a few people saw coming. Um, I really enjoyed this movie for a few reasons. First of all, it was funny, and I found myself laughing several times throughout the movie. And it had a great cast, including one of my favorite actors, Steve Carell. Uh, the movie highlights the events leading up to the 2008 financial crisis, uh, which was mainly caused by the housing bubble. Um, the movie begins with Michael Burry, a fund manager, coming to the realization that the housing market is very unstable and that it is in jeopardy. And it's all due to the banks uh, handing out subprime loans. And subprime loans are loans that the bank uh, gave out to people who would most likely have trouble paying it back, uh, such as people with no credit, no jobs, and people with very low income. <clears throat> um, they were giving loans to pretty much anyone. And most of these loans will likely not be repaid and eventually go into default. <clears throat> Dr. Burry uh, predict, predicted the collapse to happen sometime in the second quarter of 2007 and he realized that he could profit from the whole situation and maybe make his investors a lot of money. Um, so he goes out and meets with several banks and huge banks that that he can buy credit default swaps from and these default swaps uh, it's like it's an agreement where the seller so in this case would be the bank would compensate the buyer if the event of a loan were to go into default so if the market were to crash he would make a huge return on his investments <laughs> the movie goes on and introduces new characters and new groups of people who catch wind of his predictions and they all realize that he's correct and they proceed to buy into the same credit default swaps that he buys into and in the end they make millions of dollars the banks some banks went out of business and some banks got bailed out and the American economy was just left devastated in a, in a crippled state. <clears throat> and uh, I believe there's a lot of things that accounting students and professionals uh, can learn from this movie. Um, one lesson is that banks knew what they were doing. Uh, they were handing out these subprime loans and it was making them rich. And they knew it was wrong to be giving, granting people with no money, no way of repaying back any of this money was just completely wrong. <clears throat> the The banks, uh, after they after they sell these subprime loans, they sell CDOs, which are a bunch of these subprime loans and mortgages bundled together, and they're sold to other investors. And the bank claimed that these CDOs were safe, had a AAA rating and that they were just completely safe and they knew they were the opposite. Uh, the banks knew that the CDOs were filled with these uh, subprime mortgages that were bound to f eventually fail. <clears throat> and this can really teach us all that we need to be ethical, maintain ethical ways, and because if we don't maintain ethical behaviors, uh, there's huge consequences that won't just affect ourselves but can potentially affect an entire economy and the millions of people that make it strive. Um, all in all, it's important to be truthful, ethical, and do our jobs to the best of our ability with the best interest of others in mind and not just ourselves. Thank you.